It was a sound that no one had ever heard before. Pharrell is like the big brother of us. He always been different. With a slew of hits that changed the course of hip hop. My Timberland makes some noise. Pharrell, Let's take a look at some of the moments that have defined his incredible and continuous legacy. To show you the exact difference and give you the ability to learn from both of their production styles, I'll break down and compare a song each for the rapper that Timbo and Pharrell argue most about. Dirt off your shoulder. Oh, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Dirt off your shoulder. And I wish I had made that beat. I didn't make it, but Pharrell made it. I was like, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> You know why you stopped? Because you've done so many classics. You've done so many classics that you're just going through your Rolodex right now. To compare both of their production styles in the best way, I broke the beats down into melody, drums and structure. For Timbaland's side, I will show you Dirt of Your Shoulders, where he started with this vintage Japanese string sample. I, I, I had got a, a tape screen sound from Japan. And just played around on his keyboard until he came up with this melody. There's also this low bass-esque kind of sound, which, to be honest, I just sampled it out of the song, but it creates a stellar call and response melody between the string and the bass. Outside of the Timberland also used the sound effect and some bells to create more variation throughout the song. On the other side, Pharrell and Chat Hugo started their production with this vintage Spectrosonic sample. And chopped it into this. But just that by itself gets stale pretty quickly. So to support the sample, Chat Hugo and Pharrell added a piano, a guitar, strings, and another piano. On top of that, they used another sample. Man, this dude is bringing back James Brown, <laughs> like in a new way. Which they just took this tiny part and chopped it into this. And after that, they added one more melodic synth part to finish the melody side of the song. So believe it or not, in my opinion, they are actually pretty similar. They both start out with a really unique and creative main idea, which probably started the inspiration for the beat and then later the song, which they both do an excellent job at supporting and building on top of it without taking away from the main idea itself. Timberland with this bassy sub sound and the Neptunes with all of these instrumentations. To prevent the beat from getting boring, they both added some extra melodic layers like this or this, but the biggest difference I found outside of obvious stuff like oh they use different sounds play different melodies was that chat hugo and pharrell created an intentional hook part with their instruments but more to that later in the structure part but before we go there we need to understand what drives these songs and what the differences are in timberland's masterclass about dirt of your shoulder he shares that he always has this the drums my drums are always heavy from the asr so to create these heavy textured hitting kicks that timbo loves to use I used a low and heavy kick, layered in with an 808, and on top of that I put a kick from Ashen on Sounds to give it the top end crispiness. And all together with a texture snare and a hi-hat, they then sound like this. But because of the dirty feeling from the string melody from earlier, Timberland wanted this hi-hat also to have this dirty, grimy textured sound. But you listen to hi-hats, dirty. So let's replace this standard high with a grimy textured one from the drums from the MPC kit, which is perfect for exactly that. And the last thing that Timbo added was this drum fill part right here. On the other hand, Pharrell and Chad Hugo's drums feel way more minimalistic, but also more bouncy.
and outside of that they actually added a bouncy bass line underneath it. On the drum side of things there's the biggest difference so far, where Timberland had these hard knocking, more repetitive drums, the Neptunes created this bouncy, softer but also more interesting drum groove. But what they both had in common is they used these incredibly well textured drums. Where this kid is the best place I know where to find those. But as I told you earlier, Timbo and Pharrell also had a very different approach when it gets to arranging their beats. Where Pharrell and Chatugo on the one hand have this structured intro, hook, verse arrangement with this synth just playing during the hook parts and then getting completely removed until the next hook, Timbaland just keeps stacking sounds on top of sounds on top of sounds. Look at this structure, it looks like a pyramid going up and then there's just everything out and it gets back to the beginning. But when structuring his drums, Timbaland also has something really interesting because every eight bars there's this drum fill which is just coming in and giving new energy and introducing a new element after that. And this video is not for, oh, who's the better producer? At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to us. But what matters is that we can learn from both of their production styles and we can be more intentional with our decision making to get like the greats. I really hope you liked the video and let me know what are your favorite instrumentals. By the way, if you want to know why no producer is original, you should check out this video and find out. Thanks for watching.